Happy New Year, Sagittarius. Welcome, my seeker, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any other placement that resonates with you, to your January Taroscope. The more gain, the existential shift. This is the after tarot, which I love. Let's just see what energy brings. Happy birthday to those of you who celebrated a birthday this month. Happy belated. <laughs> Let's just get to it. January for the collective of Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. You are watching me right now. Messages for Sag. Knight of Cups. What are you offering someone that is more for you than it is for them? You know, like when you buy someone a gift, but it's actually something that you want, so you get it for them. Say you're married, right? You really, really, really want something. So your spouse's birthday comes up and you get you get it for them just so you can have it in the house. That is a great narrative, like a sweet narrative. It could be also not so sweet. It could be also manipulative. Maybe someone is like that with you. I don't know. But there's this is the after tarot. So I, I, I give them a little bit of a twist to the interpretation that has to do with specifically the after tarot. Um, so the Knight of Cups, it could be narcissistic in the regular tarot, although he has many beautiful qualities over there. But here, he, he's more so in his own, um, he's up his own ass, I'll just say it. This does not have to be you. This could be someone that you're dealing with, but um, yeah, sorry, I'm trying to fix my hair. There we go. Let's just keep going. Let's see, let's see where this um, this guy's walking towards with his uh, cup that his that he is offering. Oh no, it's actually for me. Um, I'm doing this for you, but it's actually very selfish. <laughs> You're handling with something like this. Ten of Swords. Ah. Uh. Hmm. I need more insight. Show me more insight to this Knight of Cups slash Ten of Swords situation. Okay, Temperance and the Three of Cups. I see where this is going. Some of you are... Someone is um, numbing their pain with either over-drinking or indulging. Um... There's a escapism here, like not wanting to face reality kind of thing. Um, there's a lot of self-deceit here. Someone is telling themselves that they're doing healing and, and energy work and spiritual work and good work, but they're actually detached, are, are actually very detached. It's more in their own here we have the hangman. Oh. I want you to see more on the table. Uh, someone is also potentially playing the martyr, um, playing the victim role play to get someone's attention. The mercy card, the uh, pity card. It's not to reduce from their pain or from what they're going through, um, but they're just using it. And, and that's, I, I, I find it low vibration. Sag, I don't know what it is that you're dealing with who, um, again, this works both ways. I really hope it's not you doing this, but that that's what I'm getting here, like that someone is doing this. Um, if someone is doing that to you, like keep trying to uh, coerce you. There's a lot of coercion here. 
like uh, trying to manipulate you emotionally into getting something by by just being a little bit um emotionally manipulative I'll just say it my recommendation is to not um, cooperate don't if, if you teach them that it works they'll continue it's not like oh I'll just ease it once I'll just answer once I'll just agree once and then they'll stop then they'll just they will learn that you're okay with it be clear that you're not okay with it there you go awakening so either they will go through um, major realization about how they're behaving if this is you then you might potentially be like oh my god I think I'm, I'm, I've, I've been like completely unaware um, or someone will call this person out on it um, either way energy and universe won't allow this to continue it will put a hold on it um, Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see further, please. Show me more. Judgment. Okay. So Sagittarius for January. Four of Wands. Okay. Once you detach yourself from this energy, that's when you can really start building grounded foundations for happiness and for success. This is also a wedding there's a celebration some sort of union this could be happening simultaneously to all this that I'm mentioning or once that energy is released then there's room to have celebration and good stuff coming in um, show me more please show me more justice okay so there's definitely an option of union here of marriage I wanna fix tilt down oh that's better because yeah, uh, I want to make more room okay once you stop focusing on what doesn't work and just isn't and you stop trying to force it and manipulate it once you let go and let God and just release and accept there's a need of acceptance here um, so many good stuff are waiting to come in like so many good stuff are waiting to come in This is just definitely like if this doesn't speak to you guys please watch your other placements um, but also this is a, a benefic um, uh, formal um, agreement right so if you're we were in the justice system there's judgment with justice here so you're you're if you feel like you're being misjudged or something like that the the system is uh, relieving you releasing you allowing you uh, freeing you kind of you're getting a positive judgment this could be something that has to do with the home or with family um, so page of swords hmm. can you show me more please show me more explain this page of swords to me please for Sagittarius for January Oh, that's too much. I'll just take the Queen of Swords. Um, hmm. Some of you might be forced by circumstances to let go of a certain type of uh, behavior, um, and then, like, it will that that will relieve you of something else and help you in something else because you were forced to stop doing something that was um, damaging you or was about to damage you because of circumstances 
and then because you stopped doing it, you didn't stop doing it because you necessarily realize that you have to stop doing what you're doing. Um, but either way, bottom line, you stopped or someone stopped and that has allowed um, a good decision to be made on your behalf. Page of Wands, Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups, okay. Okay, look at this. I mean, someone is chasing someone that isn't looking at them. They're just not looking at them. And this person is like trying to shoot an arrow towards the moon of, of, of the awareness. It's, it's a little bit of a... There's somewhat of psychic attack here, an attempt for it anyway. Um, but it comes from not a very mature place. That doesn't really know. And it's just, it's it's like, it doesn't reach its, its purpose. It just kind of fades into the air. Um, if there's someone trying to hurt you, they're very immature, very um, emotionally immature, narcissistic, coercive. Um, it's just not going to work. I don't. I wouldn't even worry. If I were, I wouldn't even worry about this individual here. Doesn't even seem to concern concern themselves about this. So, this individual puts so much effort into grabbing this individual's attention, and it's like. They're in a different world, in a different sphere. They're like, don't even. And there's all kinds of types of communication that is being attempted here. I see a lot of communication, a lot of messages, a lot of emails, a lot of, I have two pages here, judgment, queen of swords, eight of wands, communication, communication, all kinds of it. Verbal, writing, whatnot. And, this is, and it's like, it's leading nowhere. Um, if you're doing this, which I hope not, Sag, you really need to put your focus on things that will um, bear fruit from it as opposed to things that will just be annoyed. Um... But most likely it's not you doing this because you're my seekers and you're awesome. So if someone is doing it to you, just, I said that to Pisces. There was something similar towards the end of the reading. Also in Scorpio, Scorpio, Pisces, and you guys, I, I'm sensing this energy a little bit of, uh, with them it was a little bit. Here it's, it's very um, apparent that this could be apparent. This could be an ex-spouse. This could be um, a co-worker trying to get you to do something that they want you to do. It's like... It's like someone is not getting it. They're just, they just don't get it. You have an opportunity here with this Four of Wands, right under the Three of Cups, to be happy and to succeed in something. Um, you just need to put your harmony and focus on that, as opposed to um, what you gonna call it, just wasting your energy. Yep, agreeing. The cards are agreeing. Ace of Pentacles. You have an opportunity for a new uh, start, a new productive, financial, benevolent, uh, grounded start. And right after that, three of Pentacles. I mean, seriously, just work. Focus on what works. If 
It's a relationship. Focus on 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 a, on a individual that wants you to focus. Want that you will focus on them. Okay. If um if it's work, focus on your job. Focus on the thing that works. There's a lot of idealizing and. Um, Just look at them. Look at these two individuals. I mean, just look at it. Look at their face when close. Like they're pouting. They're like, mm, like two children that are not getting their candy. And it's like, <laughs> and the mother is like, can you just stop? I'm hearing someone like, will you ever grow up? It's like, why are you acting like this? It's just so weird. Um, well, I think that's it. Let me see. Sagis. Two eights. Two threes. something else one or two more cards please one or two more cards okay the emperor I like it so somewhat of a maturity process focusing on work focusing on the mundane life that you need to focus on another four as opposed to things that you just can't do any like is there anything else I need to see here for my Sagittarian Sun Moon Rising Venus anyone who's watching anything else I need to see for New Year's for January okay. the Hierophant yeah so someone will step up and do the right thing and there is there is a maturity process especially okay with justice there's a lot of um, official handling like there's a lot going on in your life Sagittarius That you need to focus on and the way to focus on is with responsibility wisdom and truth now if you're this individual if you are this individual watching that is behaving this way um, the way you will interpret what I just said as an excuse to keep doing what you were doing so far because you never told yourself you, you were being immature you told yourself you're being um, right right I'm right uh, for, for for this for what I just said no you're not okay okay let me rearrange the, the cards on the table to get the numeric value of the interpretations and let's create new magic out of what we have on this table. Eight. This. What am I doing? Well, I'm taking the repetition when it comes to the cards and the elements. And I am... looking at new um, new ways of looking at the cards new interpretation new messages um, and this is something I normally don't do in my general readings normally I do it in my extended uh, but for the January I had a I have a special project for um, for New Year's for 2019 
So the extendeds that you have for this month is actually extended for the entire year. So link below to Ministers of Magic 2019 where you'll have information about January and but also about the remaining year because um, um, what you call it? It's like uh, yearly extended. But I'm just giving you a taste of what I will resume for next month in case you didn't get a chance to watch my monthly extendeds. So this is the first part of it where I do the numerical and element rearrangement and read but then I also move I won't do it now but I then I will also move to Celtic cross which is a brand new shuffle and I also give messages from the roots so you're getting a taste of it now instead of on Vimeo on YouTube yeah uh, <laughs> three three four four eight eight very karmic um, numbers fours and eight and especially the relationship between four and eight um, it's karmic lessons to be learned and to grow out from there is great potential for great growth if you learn the lesson fours and eight have elements of control of the physical world now each of them on their own can be great and freeing but when they come together and I have two fours and two eights um, especially with the Emperor, um, there, there, there's a sense of trying to control your fate or trying to control your karma or trying to control relationships or trying to control others. Um, and you have an opportunity here to grow out of this mechanism. This is a mechanism. This is a code, a repeating code, 4488. And it's, it, it's eternal. This has been going on for a long time. But here you see a breaking of it. You have 5, and then 11, 12, 14, 20. And all of these are cards of um, spiritual, enli spiritual enlightenment, wisdom, universal truth, not your subjective truth, but universal truth, willingness to pay uh, the retributions of things that were done in the past, to heal and to grow and to awaken. Okay, and, let, and then look what's up here, if that all happens. If we break through this mechanism and do all this jazz, not only that it's three of cups and three of pentacles, which are amazing cards of prosperity and joy and flow and cooperations, uh, it's 33, which is a master number of expansion. Okay, very spiritual. But it's very different than the 4-4 four, four and the 8-8. Eight, eight. Very, very different. So once you break through the mechanism and focus on the self, Major Lakanas are self-reflectors. Self they bring everything back to you. Okay? You try to project on the outside, it will just put a mirror and, and just bring it right back to you. And then you either send it back and try to do the same thing again and again and again and you, you remain stuck in this loop and this infinite eight is also the the shape of infinity right so this infinite loop of karmic lessons that you are potentially stuck in or someone that you're dealing with is um and this is your path opportunity to relieve yourself from this and step into this Someone is also um, is receiving either a verdict or a judgment that they don't necessarily like or feel like it's fair. Thing is, it's all in the upright. Justice is in the upright. The Hierophant is in its upright. Judgment is in their upright. Um, so the hangman thing is a perception. But if you change your perspective and look at this from a higher point of view and see see your role in it and why 
things are happening this, the way they do, then that's a wonderful, op that's, a, that's a, a huge opportunity for growth and for awakening. Be joyous in what is good and that and what is what works in your life. Let go of four four and the eight eight. It's very, it's very it's very sticky energy. Let go of need of control. Let go of need of for very very few of you, but I can't help because it's part of our existence. Maybe it's relevant for someone. Let go of any need of vengeance. Um, it's very dark. Very. Um, just low vibration and it's just gonna get you into a very dark rabbit hole um, you have an opportunity right now to really step away from it because look at what's here you have an opportunity to really build something that will give you a lot of joy and satisfaction now focus on that Sagittarius now for those of you that this does not speak to maybe it's complete someone else in your life um, if you're handling someone like this what is the advice for the Sagittarius that is handling someone who's doing that to them? There's a Sagittarius watching that isn't doing all this. A wonderful seeker of mine that is experiencing it. What is the advice? What is the advice? Eight of Pentacles. Same thing I said to Pisces and Scorpio. Keep your work. Do you, boo. Don't, don't, don't entertain. Just don't entertain. Um, okay. Cool. <laughs> it's a third eight, by the way. Eight, eight, eight. They're, they're all turning their back. Turn your back. Don't entertain. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting that um, there's another group watching that this wasn't relevant for. I want to tap into a different group of Sagittarians. Um, let's tap to another group of Sagittarians watching to give them their messages, something short and quick. And quick. Um, Okay, Seven of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. You guys are not making it easy on me. <laughs> I'm here for you, okay? Not for all of you, for some of you, for most of you. Um, work. Th this, is, this is the energy I'm tapping to, work. Please, once again, if this doesn't speak to you, watch your other placements um, so you can get a more wholesome type of um, uh, messages. So, some of you were fighting, or someone that you know, were fighting a battle that they couldn't win. That they ended up losing it all. Five of Pentacles is a result of Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, another four, brings with um, stubbornness and fear and um, control issues. And Seven of Wands is very battle-oriented. It sticks up to itself. But with this combination, Seven with the Five of Pentacles, um, it's something that doesn't lead to a good place. Like someone is feeling like they're completely... Um, attack and then and then um, left behind or uh, isolated now you need to ask yourself because so many of you are watching so and it's a general reading so you know each of you is a different case which one of you um, did something to create it and which one of you were actually a victim of um, circumstance now, 
This is the advice. This is a very different energy from this. Page of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. A lot. There's a very Virgo energy here. Um, work, accuracy, focus. Nine of Pentacles is the continuous of the Eight of Pentacles that we just had is the advice. Um, so I feel like this this have is for those of you Sages that were everything I described here and there's no going back from what you did. I'm sorry, you're going to have to start anew. Let go, let go, start anew. Elsewhere. With someone else, with something else. Five of Pentacles, it's not like... Um, some things you can come return from, some things you can't, not uh, in all of this vibe and all, this is not something you can return from. For those of you who did not do any of that and are in the, uh, in the other side, you're getting some results for your hard work. You're getting some, um, what's the word, acknowledgement. You've been putting your nose into the grind. You've been doing the work that you needed to do. You were focused. You weren't all about, look at me and what I'm doing. You were just about doing the, what you need, needed to be done. But it was it was seen and appreciated. And either some of you are getting a promotion um, or some sort of a success at a project that you either initiated or offered. I see someone offering a project or an idea um, to someone and it really bears fruit. It really, and they've given them a chance and they're like, okay, let's try this. And and it worked out and they succeeded and they proved themselves. So that's great. All right. There's a lot of duality in this reading. I feel like a lot of different energies. So let's ask for a message from the runes for January. This I also do in, in my extended. In the 2019 extended that you have here below, there's tarot the after tarot there's celtic tarot as clarifications there's the I Ching and um the akashic records and of course runes um and for those of you who want to book a private reading link to that is also below uh tarot master class if you want to learn tarot then it's like uh, i have online classes for all for not all the cards are uploaded yet but a big portion of them is so you can start start with them and do as i upload them you know continue um I think that's it. Okay. Sagittarius for January 2019. Sagittarius for January. Bilk. Lovely. And Sagittarius for January. Ehol. Beautiful. You see? And Hera. Okay. If some of you have been trying to get pregnant, it's a good time. Fertile. Bill and Hera and Ehol, it's like all circumstances and energies are kind of supportive. So if you're trying, if you're wanting, go for it. Or maybe you'll get um, the test results that you are. That's... That's one group. Um, there is success in creativity. There is success in positivity. There is success in, um, maybe success is not the right word, maybe guidance and protection in positivity and in creativity. If you do the best you can in creating, and just not from a place of you see what I'm doing, but just do. Then it won't be about the perception, but about the action. Then it will be seen and things will start turning around for you. Okay. Energy, spirit, universe really wants to support and help and be on your side. But you have to be on your side first. Bior could be the letter B. Ehol can be the letter Z or Y. And Hela can be the letter J or H.
the seasons as the seasons will go by this year as you do benefic things luck will start changing much for your benefit um, okay I, I feel like I need to give you another message all right, I guess from the Akashic Tarot. It's from the Akashic Records. Let's put them here. Okay. Message for Sagittarius. Most accurate, best messages for whoever needs to hear this. From the Akashic Records, please, for January. These are two and one. One card, one message. Four of keys clearing the way. Okay. This is seven of keys. A man and a woman have taken their carriage down a trail that cuts through a forest and continues to their beautiful home in the distance. A large downed tree lies before them, blocking their path. However, the young man carries an ax and is ready to clear the way. This card is a strong signal that it's now time to take significant action to remove an obstruction in your way. It may be in your personal life, in a relationship, at work, or with a creative project. You must be clear-headed, so be sure to temper your action with calm and forethought. If you are too urgent and excitable, if you're too urgent and excitable, you may waste your energy or even cause damage. On the other hand, if you're overly gentle and cautious, you won't clear the way completely. Be determined and strong as you work to remove the obstacle that blocks your steps. With time and your attention, the way to your dreams will be open. Focus on your work. If there are technical um, blockages for you to do your job, if it's the justice card that we've seen, work diligently and positively and accurately, step by step. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, so I will see you in a sec in your 2019 extended and... Have a happy, happy new year. And I will see you in February. That's it. Bye for now.